Abu Yusuf Ya Qub ibn Ishaq as Sabah al Kundai, known as the philosopher of the Arabs, was a Muslim Arab philosopher, polymath, mathematician, physician, and musician. Al Kindai was the first of the Muslim peripatetic philosophers, and is unanimously hailed as the father of Islamic or Arabic philosophy for his synthesis, adaptation, and promotion of Greek and Hellenistic philosophy in the Muslim world. Al Kindai was a descendant of the Kinda tribe. He was born in Basra and educated in Baghdad. Al Kindai became a prominent figure in the House of Wisdom, and a number of Abbasid caliphs appointed him to oversee the translation of Greek scientific and philosophical texts into the Arabic language. This contact with the philosophy of the ancients had a profound effect on his intellectual development, and led him to write hundreds of original treatises of his own on a range of subjects ranging from metaphysics, ethics, logic and psychology, to medicine, pharmacology, mathematics, astronomy, astrology and optics, and further afield to more practical topics like perfumes, swords, duels, glass, dyes, zoology, tides, mirrors, meteorology and earthquakes. In the field of mathematics, al played an important role in introducing Indian numerals to the Islamic and Christian world. He was a pioneer in cryptanalysis and devised several new methods of breaking ciphers. Using his mathematical and medical expertise, he was able to develop a scale that would allow doctors to quantify the potency of their medication. The central theme underpinning al Kundai's philosophical writings is the compatibility between philosophy and other orthodox Islamic sciences, particularly theology, and many of his works deal with subjects that theology had an immediate interest in. These include the nature of God, the soul and prophetic knowledge. But despite the important role he played in making philosophy accessible to Muslim intellectuals, his own philosophical output was largely overshadowed by that of Al-Farabi and very few of his texts are available for modern scholars to examine. Life the family belonged to the most prominent families of the tribal nobility of Kufa in the early Islamic period, until it lost much of its power following the revolt of Abd al-Rahman ibn Muhammad ibn al-Ash'arath. His father Ishaq was the governor of Kufa, and al kandai received his preliminary education there. He later went to complete his studies in Baghdad, where he was patronized by the Abbasid Caliph Salmaman and al-Mutazim. On account of his learning and aptitude for study, al-Maman appointed him to the House of Wisdom, a recently established center for the translation of Greek philosophical and scientific texts in Baghdad. He was also well known for his beautiful calligraphy, and at one point was employed as a calligrapher by al mutawakkil When al mamin died, his brother, al mutazim became caliph. al kindais position would be enhanced under al mutazim who appointed him as a tutor to his son. But on the accession of al wadiq and especially of al mutawakkil al kindais star waned. There are various theories concerning this. Some attribute al Kindai's downfall to scholarly rivalries at the House of Wisdom, others refer to al Mutawakkil's often violent persecution of unorthodox Muslims. At one point, al Kindai was beaten and his library temporarily confiscated. Henry Corbin, an authority on Islamic studies, says that in 873, al Kindai died, a lonely man, in Baghdad during the reign of al Mutamid. Felix Klein Frank suggests a number of reasons for this. Aside from the militant orthodoxy of al Mutawakkil, the Mongols also destroyed countless libraries during their invasion. However, he says the most probable cause of this was that his writings never found popularity amongst subsequent influential philosophers such as Al-Farabi and Avicenna, who ultimately overshadowed him. Accomplishments al Kindai was a master of many different areas of thought and was held to be one of the greatest Islamic philosophers of his time. The Italian Renaissance scholar Gerolimo Cardano considered him one of the twelve greatest minds of the Middle Ages. 
According to Ibn al-Madim, Al-Kandai wrote at least 260 books, contributing heavily to geometry, medicine and philosophy, logic, and physics. His influence in the fields of physics, mathematics, medicine, philosophy and music were far-reaching and lasted for several centuries. Although most of his books have been lost over the centuries, a few have survived in the form of Latin translations by Gerard of Cremona, and others have been rediscovered in Arabic manuscripts. Most importantly, 24 of his lost works were located in the mid-20th century in a Turkish library. Philosophy His greatest contribution to the development of Islamic philosophy was his efforts to make Greek thought both accessible and acceptable to a Muslim audience. Al-Kindai carried out this mission from the House of Wisdom, an institute of translation and learning patronized by the Abbasid Caliphs in Baghdad, as well as translating many important texts. Much of what was to become standard Arabic philosophical vocabulary originated with Al-Kandai. Indeed, if it had not been for him, the work of philosophers like Al-Farabi, Avicenna, and Al-Ghazali might not have been possible. In his writings, one of Al-Kandai's central concerns was to demonstrate the compatibility between philosophy and natural theology on the one hand, and revealed or speculative theology on the other. Despite this, he did make clear that he believed revelation was a superior source of knowledge to reason because it guaranteed matters of faith that reason could not uncover. And while his philosophical approach was not always original, and was even considered clumsy by later thinkers, he successfully incorporated Aristotelian and Neoplatonist thought into an Islamic philosophical framework. This was an important factor in the introduction and popularization of Greek philosophy in the Muslim intellectual world. Astronomy Al-Kindai took his view of the solar system from Ptolemy, who placed the Earth at the center of a series of concentric spheres, in which the known heavenly bodies are embedded. Their role, Al-Kindai believes, is to act as instruments for divine providence. He furnishes empirical evidence as proof for this assertion. Different seasons are marked by particular arrangements of the planets and stars. The appearance and manner of people varies according to the arrangement of heavenly bodies situated above their homeland. However, he is ambiguous when it comes to the actual process by which the heavenly bodies affect the material world. One theory he posits in his works is from Aristotle, who conceived that the movement of these bodies causes friction in the sublunar region, which stirs up the primary elements of earth, fire, air and water, and these combine to produce everything in the material world. An alternative view found his treatise on rays is that the planets exercise their influence in straight lines. In each of these, he presents two fundamentally different views of physical interaction, action by contact and action at a distance. This dichotomy is duplicated in his writings on optics. Some of the notable astrological works by al kandai include the Book of the Judgment of the Stars, including the 40 chapters on questions and elections, on the stellar rays, several epistles on weather and meteorology, including De Mutation a Temporum, Treatise on the Judgment of Eclipses, Treatise on the Dominion of the Arabs and its Duration, The Choices of Days, On the Revolutions of the Years, De Signus Astronomia Aplicitis as Medicium, On the Signs of Astronomy as Applied to Medicine, Treatise on the Spirituality of the Planets, Optics Two major theories of optics appear in the writings of Al-Kandai, Aristotelian and Euclidean. Aristotle had believed that in order for the eye to perceive an object, both the eye and the object must be in contact with a transparent medium that is filled with light. When these criteria are met, the sensible form of the object is transmitted through the medium to the eye. On the other hand, Euclid proposed that vision occurred in straight lines when rays from the eye reached an illuminated object and were reflected back. As with his theories on astrology, the dichotomy of contact and distance is present in Alcandai's writings on this subject as well.
The factor which Al-Kundi relied upon to determine which of these theories was most correct was how adequately each one explained the experience of seeing. For example, Aristotle's theory was unable to account for why the angle at which an individual sees an object affects his perception of it. For example, why a circle viewed from the side will appear as a line. According to Aristotle, the complete sensible form of a circle should be transmitted to the eye and it should appear as a circle. On the other hand, Euclidean optics provided a geometric model that was able to account for this as well as the length of shadows and reflections in mirrors, because you could believe that the visual rays could only travel in straight lines. For this reason, Alkandi considered the latter preponderant. Through the Latin version of the Heraspectibus, Alkindi partly influenced the optical investigations of Robert Gross Dest and Roger Bacon. Medicine There are more than 30 treatises attributed to Alkindi in the field of medicine, in which he was chiefly influenced by the ideas of Galen. His most important work in this field is probably De Grady Biz, in which he demonstrates the application of mathematics to medicine, particularly in the field of pharmacology. For example, he developed a mathematical scale to quantify the strength of drug in a system, based the phases of the moon, that would allow a doctor to determine in advance the most critical days of a patient's illness. Chemistry as an advanced chemist, he was also an opponent of alchemy, he debunked the myth that simple base metals could be transformed into precious metals such as gold or silver. He is also credited as the first distillers of alcohol, creating the Alkandus distiller, which was used for the distillation of alcohol. Mathematics Al Kindai authored works on a number of important mathematical subjects, including arithmetic, geometry, the Indian numbers, the harmony of numbers, lines and multiplication with numbers, relative quantities, measuring proportion and time, and numerical procedures and cancellation. He also wrote four volumes on the use of the Indian numerals which contributed greatly to diffusion of the Indian system of numeration in the Middle East and the West. In geometry, among other works, he wrote on the theory of parallels. Also related to geometry were two works on optics. One of the ways in which he made use of mathematics as a philosopher was to attempt to disprove the eternity of the world by demonstrating that actual infinity is a mathematical and logical absurdity. Cryptography Alkandi is credited with developing a method whereby variations in the frequency of the occurrence of letters could be analyzed and exploited to break ciphers. Music theory Al-Kandai was the first great theoretician of music in the Arab Islamic world. He is known to have written 15 treatises on music theory, but only five have survived. He added a fifth string to the UD. His works included discussions on the therapeutic value of music and what he regarded as cosmological connections of music.